Bereshit Genesis 12. Now, Yahuwah had said unto El Avram, Get you out of your country, and from your kindred, and from your father's house, unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless you, and curse him that curses you. And in you shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Avram departed as Yahuwah had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him, and Avram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Avram took Et Sarai, his woman, and Et Lot, his brother's son, and Et all their substance that they had gathered, and Et the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Kinaan. And into the land of Kinaan they came. And Avram passed through the land unto the place of Shechem, unto the place uh, plain of Morah. And the Kenaain, rather, and the Kenaini was then in the land. And Yahuwah appeared unto El Avram and said, Unto your seed will I give at this land. And there built he an altar unto Yahuwah, who appeared unto him. And he, remo and he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Beit El, and pitched his tent, having Beit El on the west, and all on the east, rather, Ai on the east. And there he built an altar, an altar unto Yahuwah, and called upon the name of Yahuwah. And Avram journeyed, going on still toward the Negev, and there was a famine in the land. And Avram went down into Mitzrim to sojourn there, for the famine was grievous in the land. And it came to pass, when he was come near to enter into Mitzrayim, that he said unto El Sarai, his woman, Behold now, I know that you are a fair woman to look upon. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Mitzrayim shall see you, that they shall say, This is his woman, and they will kill me but they will save you alive. Say, I pray you, you are my sister, that it may be well with me for your sake, and my soul shall live because of you. And it came to pass that when Avram was come into Mitzrayim, the Mitzrayim beheld at the woman that she was very fair. The princes also of Pharaoh saw her and commended her before Pharaoh, and the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. And he entreated Avram well for her sake, and he had sheep and oxen and he asses and men servants and maid servants and she asses and camels. And Yahuwah plagued at Pharaoh and at his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Avram's woman. And Pharaoh called Avram and said, What is this that you have done unto me? Why did you not tell me that she was your woman? Why said you she is my sister? So I might have taken her to be my woman. Now therefore behold your woman. Take her and go your way. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him 
and they sent him away, and at his woman, and at all that he had.